Hey everyone, this is Shami. Welcome to my channel and today we are talking about self-grooming. You heard that right. I am gonna groom myself. As you can see that I have a, quite a bit of eyebrow and upper lip and I did not clean it for quite a while because I was preparing for this video. This video is gonna be helpful for especially for those people who lives in developed countries at the same time they have a little bit of financial crunch because beauty parlors are very expensive there, salons are expensive. So in this video I'm gonna show you step by step process how I I do groom myself when I have no other choice uh, I mean when I cannot go to a beauty parlor I'm stuck I'm busy for whatever reason so without further ado let's dive in step number one is I have to take a bunny or maybe a band or anything that will help you to keep that uh, hairs from coming out to your face and we need a talcum powder and I have a brush so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put some talcum powder into my hand like this and then I am going to brush a little bit of talcum powder around my eyebrows to make it a little bit of harsh because sometimes when we have moisturizer it's really difficult for you to take that thread coming into your hands um, now you need a thread mine is organica brand i bought it from a cosmetic store in india in delhi it only cost me 40 rupees so i believe you can find it pretty much any cosmetic store around the southeast asia or maybe you can order on amazon you can look for organic cotton thread and uh, we are gonna take not too much a little bit of only this look and then we have to cut it and uh, I have to make a loop so in this thread tying this together and uh, I'm making a knot so I have a thread to myself now I need to take a mirror you can take pretty much anything because I am recording this so I will not be able to look at the camera the whole time so pardon me for that so you need a mirror and you need your threading so when you hold it like this like this this hand is like this and this hand is like this it's actually opposite you are actually pulling out from each other and uh, make uh, one turn two roll three roll maybe four or even you can do five no problem so now what we're gonna do we're gonna catch our eyebrows and the upper lid the hairs from this thread and try to make this thread to cross the other side so when it is crossing you can literally say if you can see clearly I have a thread in here okay now did you see that so it's a bit difficult for your own you can practice it on your hand first this is exactly what I did I practiced on my legs to clean it I hope you can follow through typically when I do it I do it in a very slow pace so when you are doing it yourself you have to keep brushing or pulling it together to make the shape and see that you are not pulling anything from the inner side hold on I think my cat wants to come Simba is here with me I really love this cat For upper lip, you can use your tongue to stretch the skin like this. Can you see the difference? It's 
see I'm taking a picture. I'm gonna put these pictures into the screen for you to see how it is going. I won't say that I could clean completely like 100%, it's progressing. So pull the hair from this loop and then when you use a scissor, you can do it like this. So you slowly widen your fingers so that loop can get slowly transferring from one side to the other side. And uh, slowly with this loop, with this the loops we have created, the hairs is gonna stuck in there and slowly it will be coming out. It's not rocket science, don't worry. If a beautician in a beauty parlor who has very basic education can do it, you can do it too. And if I can do it, you can definitely do it too. I was very afraid, I was skeptical about this whole situation, but uh, I have realized that if I want to stay put together all the time, I cannot depend on other people. And uh, yeah, so I have to learn this uh, skill because once uh, I was going to a party and uh, I did not have the time so I could not uh, groom myself well and uh, when I reached there I have seen everybody was very well put together. Uh, my dress was okay but uh, my eyebrows were supposed to be clean, my I, I upper lip was supposed to be clean but it wasn't clean because I did not have the time to go to a parlor. I was working very hard those days and I was ashamed of myself. I realized I should take care of myself a little more and since then I have started doing facials at home. I have started doing this eyebrow upper lip at home. Since then I have started doing pedicure at home. So when I have time, when I have the opportunity, I definitely go to a beauty parlor to pamper myself. But if I don't have the option, uh, if everything is closed and I'm not reaching home on time to avail those services in those parlors, I can still do it myself no matter what. I think I can make it a little shorter because for this part, like the nose, I'm getting a slightly a hard time to balance it. So when you're doing it, make sure this extension loop or the connection where the thread is connecting, you keep it one side, otherwise it's gonna be a problem for you. When I was talking about I have learned all this to do by myself uh, at home, I was referring to everything except eyebrow and upper lip. This is something that I have started doing it very recently. I went to India and over there I went to a training center and uh, there they have taught me. So um, I'm really grateful to them for teaching me all the techniques that I can do at home. And uh, before that I had a shawn and I used to pluck it individually and uh, keep my shape in check when I have to do it when I don't have the time to go to a parlor or I'm like working very remotely and um, something is going on right now for example right now we have a curfew going on in my country and uh, we practically don't have anything to do Although it's not important to groom yourself when you're not going out, but I believe that you should stay put together all the time. At least the basic grooming should be done all the time, no matter whether you are going out or not. So eyebrows are a little difficult, a little tricky. If you stay interested, if you are patient and uh, yeah, if you're patient, you can definitely achieve several things. I'll take one more picture. So, and you need a scissor, like a small scissor. So you can uh, cut the...
cat is disturbing me. As you can see, um, I'm almost done. I have trimmed some of the extra eyebrows. Yeah. And now I need to bring my eye roller and after the eye rolling, I have to use my lotion. This is my eye roller. So I'm using the eye roller wherever I have plucked uh, the eyebrows. Uh, because it needs to soothe the skin at the same time you have to use the eyes or maybe something cold so then use some kind of moisturizer i have my vaseline lotion in front of me so i'm using vaseline and uh, give a little bit of massage on the area that you have just uh, plugged the hairs So this is what we had for today and thank you so much for watching our video. If you have any queries, if you have any suggestions for our channel, feel free to ask uh, in the comment box below. If you can subscribe, that would mean a world to me and thank you so much once again and I will see you in the next video.